The Husqvarna Vitpillen 401. It makes you want to talk like you're from Sweden, but I am not, so I will talk in my native accent, American. Husqvarna advertises motorcycle as the Urban Explorer, and I think they hit the nail right on the head on that one. With its small, lightweight, and nimble frame, it makes getting in and out of traffic easy and fun to do. No worrying about if you'll fit in between cars or how heavy the bike is while just exploring the urban environment. After riding this bike for a full year and putting 8,000 plus miles on it, I've come to love and hate some things about it, but it's mostly love. The first love is the way it looks. Don't believe in love at first sight? Look at the Vit Pillin 401 and you will believe, just like Fox Mulder from the X-Files. With a retro yet futuristic design, nothing else truly compares, proven by the countless stares and questions from people on the street. The 401 truly is a modern classic. Second love is the size of the bike. It's a perfect size for beginner riders, except for its taller seat height, around 33 inches, which made me tiptoe the beauty because of my 5'8 height. Still, it was not unruly to handle because it only weighs 340 pounds. It's not a chore to go out for a short fun ride, and it's also not a chore to park it. Simply put, you can throw the 401 around. You can weave it in and out of tight spots, enjoy the twisties, and park it in spots that bigger motorcycles would be frowned upon for parking in. The size also gives the rider confidence at slower speed maneuvers, unless of course the bike dies while doing a tight turn and you drop it. Not that I'm speaking from experience, just kidding I am. It's one of the faults of the Husky, which I will refer to later. In any event, the size is still something to benefit from. Third love is the energy, liveliness, and pep. It's like a little firecracker. For being a sub 400cc bike, I was able to hold my own while hightailing it on the highway with some other higher cc bikes. Now I definitely can't beat those bikes or keep up too well, but for being a 375cc bike, it can hang with the boys without getting smoked out of sight. The highest I may have ridden this bike is 112 miles an hour before the chain sounded like it was going to come off. Slowing down to legal highway speeds such as 70 miles an hour, the bike is in its high revs and chews through gas. It can do highway speeds, it's just not enjoyable and it feels as if it shouldn't go that speed excessively long. At lower speeds around town, however, it's a different story. And that's where the Urban Explorer tagline comes in. Off the line at a red light, I've accidentally done a small wheelie while trying to race another motorcycle. Thus, the 401 puts out more power than your average 400cc motorcycle, and it's not something to joke about. Now for the hate of this bike. However, don't let it scare you away from this wonderful beauty machine. First piece of hate, the sound. I wish it had a better exhaust note. Even adding a slip-on exhaust doesn't do too much for it. Nevertheless, you can't fault it too much since it's a single cylinder engine. Therefore, I let it slide and keep quiet about it, just like the Vitpillin does. Second hate is the random engine stalls that occur when blipping the throttle. When coming to a rolling stop and then beginning to take off while blipping the throttle to put it in first gear, it will sometimes die, even with the clutch pulled all the way in. This just shouldn't happen on a bike in my opinion. It could be extremely dangerous if it dies at an inopportune time, such as the highway, which has happened to me, or when trying to cross an intersection. Thankfully, nothing bad ever happened when it died, and all I had to do was press the electric starter to get right back on my way. Since that is the case, I chalk it up to being more of a nuisance than anything. Third hate is the gear slippage. When I get something up, I want to keep it up, not have it fall back down when I'm about to hit my climax of a turn. It's extremely embarrassing when it happens and causes you to look like a fool in front of your friends as they race by and you're stuck trying to get it up in the gear. The reason for this slippage is I believe the quick shift feature of the 401 which is actually something I love about the bike. Having a quick shift on a motorcycle at the 5,000 price point is impressive, not to mention the adjustable suspension. Yet another reason why the 401 is a fantastic purchase. And just like that, I'm back on reasons why I love the Vitpillin. That goes to show how much there is to love about this motorcycle. Overall, the Husqvarna Vitpillin 401 is an exquisite looking motorcycle that sets a new trend with its looks and its many offerings with a cheap price tag. It is a motorcycle I would not only recommend for new riders, but for experienced riders who want to have a relaxing, small, nimble bike to joy ride around town on. I've enjoyed my time on the 401, and I think you will too. Let me know what you love or hate about it in the comments. I'm curious to know. Thanks for your time, and ride safely.